Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Outlast 2. Um, well, last we met, we fell off uh, a bridge, a bridge-ish that we were crossing because a bunch of locusts flew at our face. We fell into a forest and there's some creepy hunchback and Notre Dame motherfucker why would I need to crawl? Under the tree? <laughs> uh, who, um... Apparently is like killing some people in this forest or something. But anyways, we're gonna try to get out of this forest because this is spooky. There's a flashlight. This fuckworm mistook his blessings for sickness and tried to leave and I broke him. Do not make his mistakes or commit his sins. God and his prophet love you. Ah. Uh, okay. Hmm. Where do I go? I'm gonna guess I'm gonna be stuck in kind of one of those like big open areas like a cat and mouse kind of thing where there's gonna be something stalking me through these woods and I'm gonna have to find the exit or find like eight pages you never know kids these days with their freddies and their faz boys They ran right into a walk. A ro they ran right into a rock. Why would you crawl in the log? Just go over it, dude. Are you insane? Are you actually insane? I'm convinced the main character of this game is either the dumbest or bravest or smartest person <laughs> on the planet. I mean, he's already dumb for coming to Arizona in the first place. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Sickness here. God bless. These people are rotting even before they were murdered. Hanging up dead bodies? Wait. I started going back the way I came. I had a feeling. I can't see anything if I turn my camera or night vision off. So I'm just gonna burn through batteries, I guess. Welcome to this place of spiritual healing. You are scared and you're sick, as you should be. You're filled with shame, as you should be. You know that you should not be here for your own sins, but I can make you wonderful and pure again. When all the sickness first erupted and crushed crusted in temple gate Papa Noth and his wisdom and kindness recognize it for the spiritual affliction it was don't believe those crooked and frightened others if they tell you that you're sick with the syphilis or the gonorrhea or any outer world lie this is a sickness of the soul and only by purging your soul will you find health stay true, stay obedient to God and to Papa Noth and especially to his deacon Laird, God and his prophet love you God damn it Laird I prefer Cletus, wherever he's at. Hold on, let me reload in case you guys want to jump scare me. That way I can see it. Cletus? What you got cooking? Is that person dead? Uh-huh. Who's like 
grunting and groaning in this cabin. Better. I'll take it. Can I crawl under here? Unreal. I did not want to, but I did. Where did you even come from? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? You people are weird. You people are what happens when you start pooping and throwing up on each other and you just... I'm not gonna kink shame anybody in this cave, but let me tell you, y'all are... Y'all y'all are on something. Oh man, more chapters of this. I don't like this book. It's not fun. Okay. Cool. Thank you for that. Is there not a way to go in this cave? You really made me climb my ass all the way up there to find a fucking page of that damn book? All these... Oh. <laughs> this game is going south. But hey! That's Arizona. These guys look like ghouls from Fallout. Oh! Don't! Why? Here I am. Being nice. I could crawl into that house. Uh... Between a puddle of naked dudes and a house, I think I'll crawl into the house. <laughs> I'm gonna close that. And lock it. Just because I don't like you guys. Another chapter of this thing? Unreal. I'm not sure if eyes can be uncircumcised. Call it a hunch. God. Cletus got me good. Where, where am I? So lost in this village of miserable people. Nope. Cat didn't drag nothing in. Why? My sores are weeping. Yep, that's what I usually say in a time like this. Is there someone behind me? Is all is the work of God. Yeah. Uh I'ma read this note real still quick. Find my way to the mine. Just you stay right there. Don't throw up on me. I proclaim the whore laird who leads us to infestation. I proclaim the scurvy of Laird, who leads us to damnation. I proclaim the perfidioth Laird, who <laughs> leads us to contamination. I proclaim the deceit of Laird, who leads us to annihilation. I proclaim the canker of Laird, who feeds to extinction. The sick semper evila mortem tyrannus. Yeah, I got canker sores too. Um, and not the kind that you guys would be a fan of. Can I not crawl under the side of this house? Thank you. I'm out. Bye. I'll laugh, I'm going in fucking circles. The 
natural use of a woman. I guess I don't really need my camera at the moment. Why did I record that if he doesn't have anything to say about it? Peek from the ledge, press Q or E. Why would I need to do that? Because of that? I suppose that would be one reason why. Once again, I landed in a pile of puke. Or poop. I'm not sure which, and it's really hard to tell in Arizona. How did I dodge that? Oh! Bye. Uh, that's not the way to go. Jesus. Dodge the arrows. If you can dodge a, a wrench, you can dodge a flaming arrow. Not a good time for a school hallucination. Is that today to have a talk with her for a little more? She's telling me he's worried that she's touch more sensitive than is good for her. I don't doubt it, poor girl. I know you've dealt with her dad, but personally. But her, <laughs> her mother was a real tragedy, God rest her soul. But, anyways, for Lord of my says, I think a good idea for Jessica to go to the field trip to a piano factory, and I tend to agree. A piano factory? Seems like a decent risk of a runaway. On top of which, your father's signature on a permission slip is a little embarrassing when it's an obvious forgery it is. I'll oh, need your say so to spend permission, but we'll put it in our library study for that day. Who... who goes on a field trip to a piano factory? Honestly. That... like... I can't even... pretend that that would be interesting. Pianos are cool and all, music's great, but a factory where they make pianos? I don't know about that. Okay, which one of these damn offices did she run into, or am I crazy? Nice bathroom. Speaking of bathrooms, that toilet looks like I don't I don't know if it's clogged or what. Okay. I'm not gonna I don't know why I keep side shimming like that. So she definitely ran down that way. Dude, stop side chimney. Is there a way for me to break that window, maybe? No. Nowhere to go. Okay. Back we go.
This is the only office with a light on. Oh. What the fuck? That's definitely different. She said Coco, the movie. There's nothing interesting in these offices. Oh, come on. Again? Do I gotta find another projector and all that stuff? Or no? Or is it just being... Crazy. in this area. Who? Where am I? I'm in another log. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I suppose that's one way to make it away from... Oh, no. Profit now. Praise God. Forgive me, Lord. But I wish. A wish now, Nate. Trying to give me whatever weird disease you guys have. Messiah. You have a dog's cut. He ain't been transubstantiated yet. He ain't been born. Transubstantiated. First, we gotta get him on that cross. Excuse me. Let's get on up that hill. I didn't sign up for this. He will give us his. Gospel, the sacred words of his, his teaching. He will be nailed to a cross and die, and he will be buried. But he will rise again in more perfect flesh. We will eat of that flesh in holy communion and be healed of our physical sins. And we shall inherit this broken earth. See? We prepared everything. It's all ready for you. What? Don't do this. Please. Where is your gospel? You're supposed to have a gospel for us. To guide us. Salvation after the end. The gospel? The truth. The guidance. You suffered a long time waiting on you. Well... Oh, Nick, I guess we better put those nails in. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! 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 More than one per hand? Good, good. That wasn't so bad, was 
this. Hand me that. Is it a camera? A record? Of course. How could I not see it? A modern Christ would use a camera, not a book. This is our gospel. How could I not have known? Lord, please forgive me for doubting you. There is no suffering that I do not deserve. I am a poor festering moon. Uh, 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 I, uh, I must study his lessons. Drive the other nail in and hang him up. No, 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 no. Is this gonna be like the the part in our last one where you lose your camera because it falls down into like the basement and you have to go through like a whole chapter without your camera? I get the feeling that's where we're going with this. But I don't know. But who knows? In Arizona, I'd still rather be at the school. Can I just pull my ass out of here? So, did they take my bandages? Oh, God. Would any of you gentlemen happen to have bandages? I mean, I think you would use a lot more bandage than that. Just call it a hunch. So I don't have my camera. It took all my bandages and my batteries. Alright, where'd that asshole go? I just, I just got out of getting my ass kicked. <sighs> I was unaware that this was a segment I could die in, but I suppose anything is possible. So, obviously that was a quick time event. This is the dude that killed me. Um. So, I think that was a quick time event that I missed because I saw like an A button appear, but I didn't press it. I just like tried to get out of it by pressing space for some reason, and I think that led to me failing that. But that guy's standing right in front of a log that it looks like I can crawl through. I'm guessing that's the way to go. I want to head back this way again to grab this bandage. Just in case. This guy decides to parappa the wrapper me again. Go 
Oh, I pressed it. I pressed it. <laughs> Then what do I do? way to climb up back here. I'm an idiot. I was going the total wrong way. No wonder it kept killing me. Well, they've discovered I left. I'm skipping on the party. I'll be back later. <laughs>